All right. So now let's move on to the, I don't know now, third or fourth kind of classification of fruits. We fruit people are, you know, enjoying our fruits and so we sit there in front of these fruits and come up with all these kind of classifications. But they are very interesting kinds of classifications. Now this is a different setup. All these fruits belong to one group. These ones belong to a different group and the pineapple and fig and other fruits, a third group. Based on this kind of classification, which is based on the structure of the fruit, fruits are one of three groups. One is called simple fruit, simple fruit. That means one flower, you know one flower, a flower is made of an ovary and inside of it is ovules. Just one flower gave us one fruit. So this fruit came from single flower or a single ovary. This is called simple fruit. Simple fruit means single ovary. Single flower and a single ovary. Simple fruit. Single flower and a single ovary. So what happens if you have one flower but more than one ovary? Or if you have more than one flower that made up the fruit? In that case, we don't call them simple fruit. We call them compound fruit. Compound, that means they are made of more than one ovary. Compound means made more than one ovary. Compound fruits are also subclassified into two groups. One is called aggregate, such as this strawberry. This is aggregate. Why it's aggregate? Because it is a single flower, but multiple ovaries. So single flower, multiple ovaries are aggregates. Single flowers of this anona, custard apple, mustafil, is also aggregate. Because this used to be, or this came from one flower, but all of these are ovaries, all of these are multiple ovaries. So we have single flower, like we see here, we still have the sepals here, the green sepals are still in the strawberry. And so this is an aggregate fruit because it is made of one flower. It has one set of petals, one set of sepals, but multiple ovaries. So when we consider this kind of classification, we look how many ovaries and how many flowers. If it is one flower and one ovary, we call them simple fruit. If it is one flower and multiple ovaries, such as strawberry, anona, blackberry, raspberry, all these are aggregates. That means they came from one flower and they gave us all these small, small fruits. See, these ones are all fruits. These are also, each one of these is, is droplet actually, and they are called akins in the case of strawberry, but they are all, each one of these fused together, but they are individual ovaries. So this is one flower, gave us, you know, with multiple ovaries, gave us one fruit. So, <clears throat> so this is a compound fruit, and it is aggregate. Now there is a different kinds of fruits, that come from multiple flowers and also multiple ovaries. This is, remember, this is single flower and multiple ovaries. Now this is multiple flowers and, of course, by nature, each flower has its own ovary, so multiple ovaries will be there. So these are multiple ovaries coming from multiple fruits these are multiple ovaries coming from a single flower. These are multiple ovaries coming from multiple flowers. So this is called multiple fruit. So these are aggregates. These are multiple fruits. And these are simple, simple fruits. Thamara basita. Aggregate, mrakkabe. 
and متعدده multiple why because they come from different flowers each one of these is a flower you can actually see the sepal still if you look at this this is a sepal so we have sepals because each of these each one of these is actually a fruit that came from a flower that flower has its own ovary and each of these ovary developed into a fruit and there's a central axis that combines all of these flowers so it's like an inflorescence in a way similar to an inflorescence and each of these inflorescence will have different flowers and these flowers will have different of course ovaries and each of these ovary you know mature to become a fruit so compound multiple fruit compound aggregate fruit single flower multiple ovaries multiple flowers multiple ovaries and simple fruit single flower single ovary that's the classification basically simple fruit means the fruit developed from a single flower and a single ovary aggregate means it developed from a single flower but multiple ovaries multiple ovaries so this is a compound fruit multiple fruit is actually a fruit that developed from multiple flowers and multiple ovaries so we have single flower single ovary simple single flower multiple ovaries aggregate multiple flowers multiple ovaries and that is the multiple fruit these three categories of fruits very simple very straightforward but that's shifted all of these fruits together most of the fruits we consume as you can see are actually simple fruits they came from single ovary and also a single flower some of the most delicious fruits are aggregates like strawberry they came from one flower but multiple ovaries and some very interesting group of fruits like this pineapple the same thing for fig and mulberry for sad it also belongs to multiple fruits fig routine so ananas routine and also um, mulberry for sad multiple fruits and these berries are mostly raspberries blackberries strawberries are made up of multiple ovaries but they came from single flower and you can see it actually you can see the remaining sepals here on this beautiful strawberry fruit whereas all of these are basically just one ovary and one flower and so this is called simple fruit so this is another kind of horticultural classification of fruits let's move on to the next one